Baptist Church, uh, bringing to you live the funeral service of uh, a mother um, in Ma Mary, uh, who body, whose body was just removed from the somebody's track of funeral home, and is now here at the Harvest Baptist Church. So just keep following as we, you know, bring to you everything happening here. So keep following. So we want to apologize for the breaking we had. That was due to uh, the, the cracking, the internet system. You know, we are, were experiencing some real uh, technical fault from the internet. So, but now we're here and we're here for you. So once more, we want to say we apologize for that, but we're here. So this is Librarian TV Network again. I'm Liton Queer, and I'm reporting from uh, the Harvest Baptist Church here in Monrovia, where the funeral service. Uh, so the program will soon be starting, but why the, why the program? While we are with the start of the program, we want to take you through the. Um, congregation to see families who are today down hard touch about this situation. But we want to say we are so, so much deeply sorry and our condolences we expressed to uh, the bereaved family and everyone associated with uh, the family. We want to say take heart. But again, we're here. This is Librarian TV Network. And uh, just so you know, if there is um, anything coming up for you, probably you have, you have an upcoming event and you need a media institution to cover your program, we're right here to provide you the services you deserve. Uh, so uh, Librarian TV Network is here for you. It is your family network. So please be free, contact us via Liberian TV uh, at gmail.com. That's our you know that's our email. You can contact us by that and we're gonna speedily respond to your communication. So just keep following as we you know bring to you this program. Just so you know the full name of uh, our mother today who has been uh, celebrated here at this church via her funeral. Uh, her full name is uh, Mary, my Mary Demi, and she's a mother. I mean, though we, we're going to be hearing tributes, statements from, you know, people, but just by the attendance today, you can tell that she was actually impactful. 
So we want to say again, we're sorry to the to the Bui family. Take heart, and God Himself is going to console you. But we are here, man. We are here to bring this to you. And just keep following. Don't go away. This is Liberian TV Network. Uh, we're right here to provide you the services you need. So once more, if you have an event upcoming and you need our services, just uh, contact us via email. And that is LiberianTV at gmail.com. Yeah, LiberianTV at gmail.com. So just uh, email us and we're going to be right next to you to provide you what you deserve. So let's keep following, let's keep following the process. As we sympathize with the family no matter where we are. So this is the board of the clergy. The board of the clergy, these are clergymen, and the drummers are also making their contributions. So we're we're just here, man. We're here to appreciate everybody who are here, and those of you who are watching. I want to say we seriously appreciate. And the fact that you're watching this program, it tells that you are, you know, somehow in sympathy with the family. So just keep watching as we, you know, all sympathize with the family in this time of bereavement. Thank <laughs> you. 
still making their way in. People are still making their way in and this alone is a sign of how, you know, good she was. It's a sign of uh, how humble she was. Her contribution is now speaking volume through the attendance that we have here today. So, just keep following. You know, keep following as we all you know celebrate her now that she's dead she deserves to be celebrated though the family is mourning and we're all you know in sympathy with them but equivalently we want to say god is in control let's you know keep sharing with them our words of you know condolences so that at least they can also know that God is never going to forsake them. So we're here. Once more, it's like Parenting the Network. The Tonkwe has a name. And our mother who is today deceased is Ma Mary, Ma Mary Demi. She's the one we're now celebrating. I know. We're celebrating her. Not really because she's dead, but it's because she made a mark. She made her own contribution to society. The fact that today she has people coming to honor her, though she's dead, it speaks that she made a very great contribution to society. So just keep following. Keep following La Grand D Network. Uh, once more, if you have an upcoming event, we're right here for you. This is Liberian TV Network. You can contact us uh, on our email. That is LiberianTV at gmail.com. Contact us. We're going to be right here for you to provide you the services that you need. Keep following. We still got people outside who are trying to come in. We still have people outside. And Shadley will be taking you outside to see uh, some of those who are still outside trying to make their way in. Thank you. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. You can please have a seat. We have opening prayer. We call Pastor A. Canel Glenn from the Tuckpet Baptist Church. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. I will read a portion of the scripture before we pray. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven, from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride and drawn for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven say, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the four things are passed away. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, this morning we have come before your throne of grace. Our hearts are filled with sorrow. Our eyes are filled with tears. But the word tells us, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Even though our hearts are broken, but we are bound to say thank you, Lord. Thank you because our mother remained alive and made a decision to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. She's no longer with us in the body, but we believe that she's present with the Lord. We also believe that one day, when all is born here on earth, there will be family reunion, where there will be no more separation, because all things will be new. This morning, as we have come to give the last respect, we pray that the Spirit will lead us in all that will be done here. We even pray, O oh God, for your consolation. You are the God of comfort. We pray for your consolation. Those of us who are still alive, we pray that we will give our lives to you because this work is not our home. Let us be reminded that one day we will also be this place. Therefore, give our lives to you. Commence this service with us and end with us. The Lord in the end, you will take the glory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Dominic. I'll take your Bible this is now. Time for our scripture reading. Kimberly Ball is here to do our scripture reading. The granddaughter, Kimberly Ball. Good afternoon. Our scripture reading will be coming from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to break. 
build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. The words of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. We have special selection by Nathaniel Bob Crockley. It's Nathaniel here, grandson. Nathaniel is special at this time. Hallelujah.
Uh, it's time for us to listen to the live sketch. We call Dr. Hannah C. Selape. Dr. Hannah C. Selape. She will read the live sketch of her grandma's granddaughter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming, and special thanks to Uncle Peter for putting together this live sketch of my grandma. All right, the live sketch of our beloved mother, Mrs. Mary Yogabe. So, um, the life sketch of our beloved mother, Mrs. Mary Yeo Demain, who departed this life peacefully on the 2nd of February, 2022, at the hour of 11.30 a.m. at the home of her granddaughter, Mrs. Lisa Demain Yalata. Our mother, Mrs. Mary Yeo Demain, was born onto the union of Mr. Nelesa Dan and Mara Bombale Fen on the 13th of May, 1930, in the town of Quindin, Yorwen, Mesana, chiefdom in the area known as District Number 3, Central Providence, which is now known as Lower Nima County. The father, Nelesa Dan, was from the town of Owen, Yorwen, Mesana, chiefdom, and he met her mother, Bombale, at her hometown of Quindin. It was the customs of those days for the men to do farming work for the women. He wanted to marry for some years before he was allowed to marry her. After completing this task, he was given young Mombale to be his wife. It was to this union that our mother, Mom Mary, was born on the 13th of May, 1930. The couple lived in Quentin for some years before the death of Mombale at a very early age. After the death of her daughter, her grandmother, Madame Yarwan Fan, became a nurse to the young child. The grandmother was always grieving, so her paternal uncle, Mr. Bakwe, my dad, who was at that time the pastor of the mid Baptist church in Zaya, number one, went and took the 10 year old child and carried her to Zaya, where he and his wife, the kids alone, took care of the child since they didn't have any other children. Our mother has a half-sister by the name of Maya. It was at the Zion mission that young Mary Demet received the Lord as her personal Lord and Savior when her uncle preached to her. Our mother lived on the mission for several years until our father, Mr. John Demet, met her when she was 18 years old. He was then a young man who was mining gold at the Hoban Mountain. While traveling, he met her in Zaya and they fell in love. After several visits, he told Dr. Um, Pastor Rabia that he wanted to marry his niece. After attending church services for several months, he accepted the Lord Jesus as his Savior. In the year of 1949, they were married in the Zion Mission Church. This union was blessed with nine children. The eldest child, Peter, was born in Zaya. After his birth, the family moved to Tabatan, where our father enrolled at the Mid Baptist Bible Institute. All the other children were born at the Mid Baptist Dispensary in Tabatan, in my country. Um, the children are Hannah, Victoria, Joanne, Susanna, Stephen, Nathan, Debbie, and Don. While the husband was at the Bible Institute, our mother also attended special classes that were run by the wives of the missionary. There they were taught how to be and write and how to take care of their homes. Our father graduated in the year of 1954 and became the first black pastor of the Zion Baptist Church. While in Tabatan, the young couple who brought in several children of their relatives and enrolled them at the Mid Baptist School. Some of the children were Nancy Demen, Mata Demen, Richard Samuel, Mary Penn, the late James Holder Moa, the late Martha Backwood, and the late David Trouble, the late Sam Demen, and the late Joseph Banks, and the late Timothy Bohanu. <laughs> Our parents were engaged in making more to sustain their last family besides rice farming. They planted radishes, squash, lettuce, and other vegetables which the children 
and so. Our parents later bought a farm land in Wale in 1963. The village was known as Bezgen. Um, because our late parents were based in Tabatan, they brought in some relatives from Domba to help on the farm. Some of them were Omen um, Mamayev, Lee Peter and his wife, Joseph Barley, um, and Joseph Barley. Our mother later became a businesswoman. Um, she had a shop in Tabatan and became a successful businesswoman. She usually traveled at a time to sell some of her goods. Um, when the Civil War started in Liberia in 1990, our parents remained in Tabatown until 1993 when they moved to Africa and lived for some years as refugees. They later returned to Liberia in the year of 2000 They traveled to the United States at the invitation of their daughter, Anna, along with her sister, Joy. They lived there for several years and until the daughters Victoria and Susanna later joined them with their respective families. In 2007, when her husband died in the United States, our mother returned with the body for the barrier. She then remained in Tapatown with her son Stephen before coming to Monrovia. While in Monrovia, and later moved to the home of her son, Brandon in 2019. Oh, in 2019, she moved to the home of her granddaughter, Mrs. Lisa Deme Yalapai. During her final months, she was always yearning to go back home to Tabatan, but unfortunately was unable to. But Sedwen and his wife, who now consider as her children, usually visited whenever she was in Morovia along with other relatives. In January 2022, she became sick and was taken to the Catholic hospital by her children. The doctor told them to carry her home and show her much love and care and give her good food to eat. During her final days, she could hardly eat and could only drink water. She will always sing songs about singing the song, Father, we thank you, and we and will ask her son Peter to join her and sing it. Our mother was always polite to everyone, and even if in the hospital, um, she would thank the nurses, and they would say this old lady is a civilized lady. <laughs> Unfortunately, on the night of February 1st, um, she was struggling throughout the night, and by the morning of February 2nd, her granddaughter Lisa went um, to see her. Oh, I saw an excuse because her grandmother condition was not good. When her son, Reverend John, Reverend Don Demon visited her, she was unconscious. He later told her son, Pastor Robin, to visit her, but when they got there, she was already, she has already passed. Our mother went home peacefully to be with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on Tuesday, February 2nd, 2020, at the hour of 11.30. She leaves behind to mourn her passing nine children and a host of grandchildren, great grandchildren, and one great great grandchildren. May her soul rest in peace and light perpetual shine on her. And just kind of going off script here, I just want to say my marriage was an amazing mother, grandmother, great grandmother, friend, family. And I'm gonna miss her greatly. And I know you are gonna miss her. But you guys gotta remember this is not goodbye. It's see you later. Because we are gonna see her later. All right. Um, to honor her memory, may we all rise and sing the song we will always sing it in her dying days. Father, we thank you. <laughs> A song always been like this. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah.
So like we said, we're going to bring you outside to, you know, see how this place is. There are still people out here trying to make their way in. But the place is already packed with uh, the orders of COVID-19 observations. So uh, the protocol of observations. So we have people still outside here, not really, you know, clustering in there. But we're going back inside. We just thought to come out and show you how this place is. Uh, to take you back in. So just keep following. Thank <laughs> you. 
So once more, this is Liberian TV Network. I'm Liton Queer, and we're here at the Harvest Baptist Church on the Fiamma Matadi Road in Sinclair. And we're here to bring to you life the funeral celebration of my Mary Demi, who, you know, has lived a life of a mother. Uh, so we're we're honored to be here, and we also want to say our condolences are expressed to the Irish family. So please join us, join everyone, as we all sympathize with this family.
There is a season and a time to every purpose on the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to plant up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to win and a time to laugh. A time to move and a time to dance. Spirit of the Lord, 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 I give you praise for who you are. We invite your presence into the service of Jesus. I commit the family into your hands of Jesus. I ask for you to help us, Lord. Be made as the moon as those who have not hope. Because we have hope that indeed we will see our mother, our grandmother again. We ask for your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This morning I'll speak with a brief little thing in life well lived. In life well lived. Tell the pastor this morning, the Bible says that your plan is season for everything on the heavens. There was a time grandma was being born. There was a time grandma got married to grandpa. There was a time grandma gave birth to a beautiful children and they too gave birth to us. There was a time grandma laughed. There was a time she also cried. There was a time she danced. And today is a time that she was going to be with the Lord. She has gone to a better place where she will cry no more. She has gone to be with the Lord. Today's message is not for grandma. Today's message is for you and I. Grandma lived a broader life. She lived a life of an example. She was an indeed a blessing. So today's message is for you and I. If you want to see grandma again, you will have to give your life to Jesus. You have to accept the Lord as the Lord and personal Savior. If you want to see grandma again, grandma died on the second of this month. The day she died, I was awake in my father texted me on my phone. He said, Grandma, when I can see you. Without hesitation, I drove straight to the house. When I got to the house, I saw two ladies. And I asked, is it good to see a girl woman? I said, yes. They said, she's inside, she's sleeping. So they followed me and I went inside the grandma. When we got there, she was lying down. I thought she was just sleeping. That day she was born. The lady said, Grandma, the, the prince was here to see was pretty tall. I went ahead of hers, but she was pretty tall. I laid my hands on her chest, but she was no more breathing. And the lady began to cry. And I stood for long on my grandma. And I said, Yes, indeed, it was a blessing. If life well lived, I'm not going to cry for grandma. Because today is a time of celebration, not a time of money. Hallelujah! Grandma left her life and she's grown to a better place. The Bible makes us to understand that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yes. Grandma closed her eyes on this side, but she has opened her eyes in heaven. Yes. She's in a better place. Why should I have to worry about anything anymore? Come to a better place. Why should I have to worry about light anymore? Because Jesus is the light. Come to a better place. Why should I have to worry about water anymore? Because Jesus is the living waters that never grows dry. Come to a better place. Why should I have to worry about bread to eat anymore? Because Jesus is the bread of life. Grandma is in a better place. If you want to see Grandma again, you have to give your life to Jesus. 
That's the only way you will be able to see God again. But if you refuse to accept Jesus, I'm telling you, you won't be able to see God. Because he's going to be on the other side, and she's going to be on the other side. Amen? Amen. Growing up as a little boy, I used to hate death. I was worried about death. Because so many people died from so many close friends and family. So I was always worried about death. I used to think that if someone died, you would never see the person anymore. I used to think that if someone died, that was the end of that person existing on this earth. But the Bible makes me understand that there is life after death. The Bible says it's appointed unto men to die once, but after death, it is a judgment. That's indeed life after death. We're going to see God again. We're going to see her again. When we all get to heaven, we're going to see grandma and we're going to see grandpa. Amen? Amen. We should not move like those who do not have hope. We should not move like the unbelievers. Because grandma is indeed sick and she has gone to a better place. So we don't have to move like the unbelievers. Amen? Amen. I remember the first time I came for vacation with my girlfriend in Bible school. Grandma was talking at my family place in the EADB. Every time I would go to the room and grandma would be talking. When I was about to go back after my vacation, grandma was being sad. She said, Grandma, we pray for you to go to school. She said, Because when you come back, when I see you, I saw you glory. He said, I'm old now. I know you come back from school, you won't be able to see you. So come, we pray for you. And God prayed for me that day. And I went back. After two years, I came back. And grandma was staying around. And I went to the room with grandma. He said, Tanzi, I'm dying. He said, Tanzi, I'm dying. I said, Grandma, you died just, just leave it. Amen? Amen. So indeed, Grandma has gone to be with the Lord. Death does not care for your educational background. Because I'm too educated to die. Death does not care for your educational background. Death does not care for how much money you have in your bank account. Death does not care. And for if you're a great girl for your family, you have to be around for a very long time to sustain your family. That does not care. That does not care and has surgery to take care of, to make sure that you don't become independent. That does not care. That does not care about your age. That does not care about how things so beautiful you are. Once that time comes, you will have to go. That's why, as long as you're alive, you have to give your life to Jesus. Because no one knows tomorrow. Tomorrow is never promising. We only have one life to live. And after this is a judgment. So once you have the life in you today, you have to give your life to Jesus before it's too late. The truth is that everyone in the world will die one day. No matter who you are, once the time comes, you have to go. But you can't leave this earth without giving your life to Jesus. You can leave this room without giving your life to Jesus. You can leave so many places without accepting the Lord as a Lord and personal Savior. But do not leave this earth without giving your life to Jesus. Death is like a tree mm-hmm. of bitter leaves. If the bad leaves fall for a tree, it's a holy son of the green leaves that one day you two will also fall. God has fallen asleep in the Lord. It's a holy son of the green leaves that's still at night that one day will also fall. Yeah. Also. So as long as you are living, take your life to Jesus. Make this right before 
before you leave this earth. Making peace with all men as the Holy Scriptures has commanded us to do. Follow God. Follow after righteousness. Say no to sin and yes to righteousness. Leave a positive mark in the heart of people. That we James chapter 4, verse 46. For what is life? It is a vapor that appears for a little time and vanish away. Those are the people that have this. If you are cooking and you open the pot, you see a vapor just show up and disappear. You don't see anymore. So that's how our life is. Today you see it, tomorrow is no more. So why are Make a positive impact in the life of soul. Be a blessing. Get the life of Jesus. And throw out the righteousness. Uh-huh. Like I said, today's message is not for grandma. It is for you and I. Because grandma has gone to be with the Lord. But be yourself have to make your own personal responsibility to get the life of Jesus. Amen? Uh-huh. If you want to see grandma again, get the life of Jesus. Tomorrow is a promise. Jesus is the only way to heaven. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father except you may. Amen. Amen. The greatest thing of the same will preach will preach by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Amen. at the grave of Nazareth. He said the matter. The Jesus said to us, I am the resurrection in the night. He that believed in me, but he died, he shall live again. Yeah. Though he died, he shall live again. Amen. Amen. Grandma has died physically, but she has not died spiritually. Amen. She is in a better place. Yeah. She will be lost. And God is saying, We are born. A good and faithful servant. Grandma death should not be a time. Grandma death should be a time that will celebrate the life. Amen. Amen. Grandma death should be a time that will celebrate the life. It should not be a time to ask God why. No. Grandma death should not be a time to ask God why. Why? Hallelujah. Okay, we are on the way. 
Why Ega in Figari? Let the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem, RCEJ Liberia, get prepared. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. uh, we have come on behalf of the Eka Enfi Gali Baptist School to give our condolences to Barry Dini, the proprietor of the school, and the entire Dini family. We say to comfort in the Lord, for she had gone to rest with him. So we like this based on the water reading of Mother Dini in the name of the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you. Next. In Jesus' name. I'm here this morning to represent ICBJ Liberia International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem, where the son of the visit is serving as the board of the trustee chairperson, Reverend Dan Demi, who says, Pesone in the law, Reverend. You see, God is with you. No one can copy from the message of the messenger this morning. Is that today is, is not a day for money, rather a day of celebration. Let us rejoice in the Lord. For our mother, our grandmother has come to be with the Lord. On behalf of the International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem, Liberia, and on behalf of our family director, our Christian Eroi Senior. I come today to live on the bottom very the bottom remain of our late mother in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Thank you, Hallelujah. We have rehab women of our nation. We have women of the nation. Are they here? They will be followed by Liberty Radio. Liberty Radio will be followed by Liberty Radio. So Liberty Radio will be upset while we have women of the nation coming up. Praise the Lord. Matthew 5 4 says, Blessed are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. We have come as rehab women to sympathize with all of the Dinim family and particularly to our sister and mother, Mother Debbie Bafan. We say, Please take solace in the Lord. And we have this little purse to present to our sister and mother, Mother Demi Bachman. Thank you. Hallelujah. From our Liberty Radio, is it here for one of them? Liberty Radio, can it? I think, yeah. Liberty Radio. And the radio will be followed by Foundation for Women Family. Foundation for Women Family. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Uh, if you are here and part of the Liberty Radio family, please come forward. 
Okay, thank you so much. Uh, this uh, morning or afternoon, uh, we have come as a team uh, to supervise with the CEO of Liberty Radio, the President of Honorable Robin Barnaby, the senior pastor of the Harvard Baptist Church. It signs our heart that at this time we come to this kind of vocation with heavy heart. But who knows at this time? There's a point of law, we cannot question him. Uh, the scripture says, one day I will do my Bible and I read across the scripture that says, it is appointed unto men once to die, and after that, the judgment. Our grandmother, our mother, our auntie, our sister, our playmate, she lives for life. And I don't believe her. Uh, what she did in life, she was able to touch many lives. Uh, she has played her part. Today, she is departing the stage. And those of us who are left, in our time, we put ourselves together, organize ourselves so that on that great day, when the world is called up younger, we find out as the world will be on the list. So we come this hour on behalf of the Liberty Radio family. Uh, Honorable Rabbi Dara Demi to say to you and the entire Demi family that take heart, all is not lost. God is still in control. And so we come to lay these roses on the casket, bearing the mother remains of our dear mother, our dear grandmother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Blessed Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. After we were ready, then we have the foundation for women family. Foundation for women family. Are they here? Your name is written here. As believers, we believe that 
Once the man died, in the law, he just saw it later. So on behalf of the institution, we have come to express our deep sympathy. We say, take solace in the law, and always follow what your mother and dad did. And you always see the hands of the Lord in your direction, in the name of Jesus. So we lay with these reefs on the castle bearing the other remains of Mother Dame in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Blessed Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Independent Baptist Council. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say praise the name of Jesus. Amen. I am uh, Reverend James Toka, President of the uh, Independent Baptist Pastor Fellowship in that building. I came to know Dr. Man through the husband that is now born to be with the Lord, and she has found today. That was in 1982, February, when I first moved to uh, Canada to attend the Bible College there on the back of the mission. And at the time, my father had just asked, and as a direct way, the question would be is, he called on me, he talked to me and consoled me, and that day he introduced me to Mother Mary Demi. And at the end of the day, she made me a very big cup of coffee. And since that day, I was always in the home seeking for coffee. Where you as a young man, you go way over to the carpet and you find a place where you can bring coffee every morning, that's where you want to be. And she came and saw me and said, Oh, you got my son. And normally, when I talk to her, she they don't call my only name. They used to call me Jindoba. Jindoba. And when I come, I went back to Tapata when she was quite old, and she still remembered me. But we are glad to be here. I'm here to represent uh, our fellowship because the mother who is lying here and the husband was the pioneer of the Baptist Church in Liberia. We have four Baptist churches in Liberia because of Reverend and Mrs. Clement. <laughs> When we come here, we have to let the world know that in the high school firm, in the faith, we will not be able to hold the hand today. And we are glad that she's welcome to rest because this world is not our home. You know, when we come in this world, the typical way is that we born our children in the very house, they born their own children and they bury their children. I know nowadays things have changed around. Right now, rather the, the parents are burying the children. But we want to, in this public manner, extend our gratitude to uh, Reverend Dan Demi. You know, most of the family members are, are abroad. But people always think that it's only the girls children can care for their mothers. But what I have seen, from the from what from the dead of day, the boss said they also care for the mothers. Yeah. And I want to properly say to him, what you did with the help of the other sibling is well for many. And I know the Lord will bless you. You may not have all that people will give you, but one day your blessing will come from the Lord. And you know, Reverend Dellen and Mrs. Dellen. They did not build mansions, not because you couldn't want to build mansions, but they invested their life in the lives of other people. And because they build other people out, that's why they don't have a mansion that goes through the build of hands. And I will ask and pray that the left, even though they are gone, will have memorials of the Reverend Demons here, and those of you or us that they invested in, we should not forget the investment they have made. Because they made the investment in us and they made it poor to make us what we are. And we are thankful and joyful. I know most of our pastors from the independent Baptist churches are here. 
I would like for you to stand where you are and so that you can see, to know that we, we treasure and, and, and honor what this old man and the old man did for the sake of independent Baptist churches. We are here today because they were there yesterday. And what they did, they can't go without notice. I want to say to the children, you know when death comes, it's about time that you go together. Some things that you didn't do right, you got to set it right. What you had the time to do so. The time is our greatest end. So I want to say, never mind our proximity and the God that all of us. Our independent Baptist church, some of them will be represented here pretty soon. But we are collectively letting you know that we'll be in prayer with the family, we'll stay along with you, whatever it is that we can do to help in the memory of our mother and our father, we'll stand ready to do that in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. May yes. God bless us and thank you for coming. Raising the care of organization, are they here? I saw. Who's in this? Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, we are from the Rising Academy. I'm sure all of you here know me. I'm the Kanyala Academy member from the Tyrant of the but I work with the Rising Academy where Kimberly Bo happens to be one of our workers and a great granddaughter to the Boba. So we've come to say to the family we are sorry. And we know that the Boba needs for life because we also knew what your heart she lived and we all can be able to witness of the kind of life she lived. So we've come to say sorry to the family and to leave this reef on the cascade there of water reliefs in the name of the Father, the Son, and our blessed Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Okay, we are done with organizations and we come to churches. Please that was there one time, please. Christ Redeemed Ministry Incorporated. Christ Redeemed Ministry Incorporated. Did you hear? The people of our Liberty House Ministry. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' precious name, we are here today representing the Christ Redeemed Ministry from country community. We are here to sympathize with our mother, uh, Mother Debbie Bafla. She's the one of our church. She's been a very good mother to us, so we can't allow her to go through this situation alone. So today we are here representing the church. We want to sympathize with her. So, mother, we want to see sanity so that the world will not consult you in Jesus' mighty name. So, here today we have our ghost out of this side. We are going to live this week on the altar we live with our grandmother in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Mother Bapha, we, we want to give you this letter so that you can hear in Jesus' name. Amen. Mike. In Jesus' mighty name, we have come from Liberty House Ministry to sympathize with Sis Naomi, daughter of Mr. Great daughter to daughter to Mr. Peter Jeremy, our father, we call him Daddy. We have come to sympathize with you. He says, in my team, yes, I am grateful more for they shall be comforted. We feel your pain, and we say we are sorry for your loss, but it's a good thing to rest in the world. So at this time, we take this wreath and lay on the Lord's remain of our mom, grandma, sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the bless the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Lord. We have been many times back to church, so let's go and waste time. I'm going to wait. Wait, 10 seconds. Many times back to the church, we'll be for a refuge back to the church. Catholic community. Too. So I'm grateful for this brother. 
on behalf of the Sukiano Christian School System, that's my wife, and on behalf of the National Association of Mid Baptist Churches, some of this pastor, Pastor Debbie, produced in the Bible school like Mason Do, Old Man Z, Old Man Jeremiah Bakum. And on behalf of the Refuge Baptist Church, a fundamental separatist group that our obedience of our Father brought to us. We are here to say sorry to my sister, sisters, and brothers, Demi, Dan, Sister Martha, Susanna, Debbie, that was a baby when I left Tapeta. I see he's big now, and his son is pretty big. <laughs> so I, I come to say thank you that while we did fail, you passed us through. So, on behalf of Refuge Baptist Church, and the Sotiyama Christian School System. Thank you so much. Thank you, back to the And um, we also come to simply down with our sister, Amelia Cooper with our family. Say back to church, yeah? Professor Amelia. Yeah. Where are we? We say take heart to the Lord. We insist on the Lord to be here, but she's not well. As our sister Julia Alta, we meet you. We say that the soul of our mother rest in peace in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, Father. The church you will be great commission, fundamental. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, I have come from the great commission of the Baptist Church in Alta Yuma County, where Rabbi Eric Bohr is the founder and a son to our mother. He is not able to be here, so I have come to say sorry to the family. So I got a request from the church and then from the family to support whatever senses we are going through here. Thank you. Okay, next, so, great commission, we have the Tapper Baptist Church from Neymar County. Uh, nobody has control over the type of Baptist church here. <laughs> we have all the time that we need. This body should have been in Tabitha. Uh, so we are in control of everything here. All members of the Tabitha Baptist church, including those of you residing in Monrovia, please come and join us. Okay. Now we do accept. Uh, so we will allow refugees. Yeah. Who we'll work with the late Reverend John Debbie and my Mary Debbie for a long period of time before we came in? He's going to speak on behalf of the church before I, I say anything. Praise the Lord. I'm very glad to have formed part of this. I will say unique program 
or ceremony. I am <coughs> one of the spiritual son of the elite. I worked with them a very long time. I wish that your pastor here was a very little boy. Very little boy. Dan Dele. The Dan Dele song preached here today. I admire the message and say, the Lord bless you. Yeah. When we are here, Pastor Dwayne went to end what I have to say. We regret this, you know, our fallen mother to have been laid to rest here. We were expecting the body in Tabitha, where they established the church in the Tokyo the church for very long time. And the church is there that implanted. They were expecting our late mother back to be brought there. On behalf of few of the churches which come about the church, our late father John, John K. Demon left for I don't know how many years from since the 50s. Uh, including the fellowship in churches who sent him by me to come and represent them. These churches, I, I said that about the church press, made independent Baptist church, Pantry Baptist church, Liberty Baptist church, KPA Baptist Church and Mount Zion Baptist Church. The rest of the churches were wishing to send him, but we came. Uh, I've been hearing that some came behind us with their purse for me to bring, but there was no way. So, with What we have here from these churches, I, Brother Peter Delen, on behalf of the uh, Delen family, we will not always use uh, Brother Delen, that Delen did always do the hair. So the church. The churches are saying, whatever you are going through, this is what they have to give you in the family. Thank you for listening. Praise the Lord. Amen. My name is Kadu Dwanian, President and Senior Pastor of the Tana Baptist Church. I was 13. Going to 14 when my father died. God took care of me. On the day of my graduation from high school, Reverend John Devin has come from the Africans, and from Accra, he was present. And when I spoke, I gave the speech that day, and I promised the congregation that the Lord has called me and I was going to go to Bible College. So when he came from Accra, he called me and said, get ready and listen to you that the Lord has called you. So there is a scholarship from Accra and you are the one that the Lord gave on my heart to send on that scholarship. When I came back home, he had gone to the United States where he remained and passed away. Before his death, I was serving as the assistant pastor. And uh, one year after his death, I was then elected by the church as the senior pastor. 
I want to praise God for this family so much. If I am called a pastor today, if I am a leader of some leaders and judges in the rural part of Liberia, if I am called a missionary today, God used this family to make me what I am today. So I highly appreciate them, and I will always appreciate them. Um, I made a promise, those of you who were here last week, listen to what I said when I was preaching. There are many opportunities for me to leave that better and go and be in another place. But two things are keeping me in that better. The love of Christ and the call of God is one of the things keeping me in that better. It constrains me to be there to make a sacrifice. The next thing is the legacy of Rabbi John K. Demi. I promise to keep it burning. We are not going to let it die. So those of you who believe that Rabbi John K. Demi gave you some foundation and you have reached where you are today, don't forget about this legacy in Tabata. Remember us. Pray for us. And sometimes call and give us few words of encouragement because ministry in the rural area is not an easy one. I want to thank God for our mother. The few years she spent with us, she made my wife her best friend. She tore her her heart. So this is a difficult thing for us. But what can we do? What can we say? We have to accept it because we believe that one day we will see her. Praise the Lord. Amen. On behalf of my family and on behalf of the Double Baptist Church, we lay these wreaths on a casket bearing the mother remains of our late mother in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you all. Thank you. Okay, the time I back there broke my protocol. Yeah. I'm back in the rest of the keyboard is talk. We got 20 minutes for tripping. If you can say in 30 seconds, you will just walk and lay your bridge of what's like and you can't say a word. Please do that for me. I'll call your name 20 10 seconds. Okay, the second half is that the church will be found by Canada back the church. 30 seconds. We have to go. It's 12 o'clock. Amen. We come from the Second Harvest Baptist Church in Police Academy. It is the daughter church to the Harvest Baptist Church here. Uh, we want to say this death is a Victoria death. It's not a death to, re uh, to move. And so now we see much time. We want to say sorry to Reverend Devin, the Harvest Baptist Church, the Tabet Baptist Church, and the rest of the family for the departure of our mother or grandma from this world where she has gone to rest with the Lord. Uh, without saying any other thing much, at this time we want to lay these weeds on the mother remains of our mother in the name of the Father and of the Son. And now the blessed Holy Spirit to be followed by this envelope to the church. God bless you. We have come from the Pierre Baptist Church to stand with the tenants on our neck. Pastor Toba has said it all. All of us here are products of their ministries. And we thank God so much for them. I just want to encourage the family and the legacy and the light that your parents have left with you. Please let it keep burning. Let it keep burning. On behalf of the church, we're going to deposit this week on the casket bearing the body of my Mary in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you, Gary. Gary will be followed by uh, this is our Grace. 
Yes. Grace Baptist Church. What we found about Baptist Baptist Church. Thirty second. Please do that for me. Don't give me time to talk, man. God never gave me time. We got both sides. Amen. I'm glad to be here to have the opportunity to come and pay tribute. Uh, in the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 4, something that will not happen in the new heaven. God will work away all tears. But something that I left in 22, chapter 22, something we will see. We will see the truth of life that God took away because of sin. We will see that tree. Then the day of the temple, so we will see God's face. Yeah, I you prepared to see God's face? Some of want to see God's face. But I will see God's face, but I will see God's face. Amen. On behalf of great Baptists, we do not stay the way. We have a car. So on behalf of great Baptists, we did a little angle. To the Amen. Amen. Somebody gotta take my <laughs> Okay. Bell and Bell Pictures will be found by using word. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. On behalf of Delta Baptist Church. We have come to say, on that railway, never mind, to the Dennis family. The Bible made clear in the book of Revelation chapter 14, verse 19. It said, It is blessed to die in the Lord. Those that die in the Lord, they are going to bless them. And the reward to follow them. Our mother died in the Lord and she has gone home to rest. So, on behalf of daughter, we live in possibly three in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. 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 I thank God for this opportunity. I speak as maybe uh, in that earnest people or maybe right here next story. But in the family, I married one of uh, my granddaughter and uh, he loves dear. I remember the open a great sense of humor. I remember among the many kind things she did. And uh, I was there at just this one. My friend, Bishop Richard Johnson, and I was there today. The boy that remembered me, both of us get married. Now he is a great bishop in Nigeria and have great churches in Africa. So he should have been here with us, but the old man just let you know, you know how they say you want to get married. Now you gotta pay the barrier, you want to pay the dollar. I just want to remind you the great sex of humor she had. I never forget that day. And we have while sitting there, I have to pay the barrier, carry all the requirements that I have to give that day. And on that day, I was so frustrated because of the argument now began that the elders of the town said time to time. Will he marry and keep our daughter? Well, is he a, is he a Christian? Yes, he's a Christian. Well, the next thing was he's a Pentecostal. Okay. <laughs> I was the next item. Oh, okay, what kind of prophecy is he going to teach her? And all of that, the story, the argument went on and on. The Bible didn't like it. I don't know what kind of story he has. But as a hell, he just got a monitor of He didn't like it. And then the old one, too, did not like that. 
So we went into recess behind him and was still going on. He saw the old man walk close to him. When everybody left, she walked close to him. She said, hey, be there. Now you will know. You want to die. 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 I was so she's supposed to kill and then she walked away in frustration. She said, oh, I don't know what you're getting the ball out today. And her justice and judgment, I've never forgot that. She and this great theologian, I followed him, and he's a theologian. That man preaching the law is blessed me. He preached for me in the United States. I never forgot that. He was the one who met and for me in the eyes of the also. He was always there to encourage me. And today, because of the Omar good sense of judgment, their granddaughter and I have preached the gospel in this great United States and helped so many people. So many Liberians, so many Americans in the false world, in other countries as well. She did not judge to vote by the car. And thank you, Mom. Thank you. Go home and be with the Lord. And I thank God for that. Thank you all very much. And all my in-laws, I know the game the names, they all know me very well. That six I know them very well. God bless you, Nathan. It's good to see you. Peter and I am. Praise the Lord, I won't take it too long. The reason why I'm singing this was the first lady in our family. And I was the second lady when you say a pastor wife or bishop wife. I watched my grandmother. I saw how she served people. It taught me to be the woman of God that I am today. So my who swore to open the side of that who swore to them God every day I miss you. Hey, I got that big man. Then you go to the who swore to. On behalf of Living Word, we be passing this read in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And we be passing it also to the family. Thank you. Hallelujah. You see the time? I cried for time, but still we have to find me all heaven. Fifteen seconds. I will explain my way. Okay, revive my picture, revive my hero, my picture. Are they here? Fifteen, fifteen, there, come and do it. Oh. It's all good. Do you have to stop me traffic? I hope you understand. In Jesus' name, Amen. we are grateful to God. We for Revival Baptist Church, along with the head pastor, we are in Rouse Swimming Land. We have come to identify with the Bibi family. We have been doing it for a very, very long time. I can remember when I was a little boy in Tampa Baptist Church, and I met our grandmother and the grandpa. So we say sorry. Tiktok, our grandmother has gone to rest with the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. He gave us to the family. Praise the Lord. I got to know this from the 1967. At the time when I came from the school of the system. And from that time, the king of Romania, I know them.
Network and um, the TV here and we're here to bring to you life uh, the funeral service of um, our mother, Mother Mary Jenny. So just be following as we go along. Uh, 
Where are you going to put the question? Okay, please read the words. Don't you say where he is later there. He's a member of Congress in the United States. Yes. And he's a very good man with us. So, what I will do is, the bill, the law panel, you have a very deep to talk to me the bill, the alkaye, the bukwe, and you give it to me last. The darkly. The darkly also. Yeah. That will be the last panel. We start with the law panel, you can talk for a while today. They will go through the the VA family, North family. Hello, everybody. On behalf of the North family, my name is Nancy K. Devin. So we want for this is my sister George. We are here representing the entire North family. The light that God has given us to. Yes. Um, Mr. Peter, 
so much for following us. This is Liberian TV Network and we are, we are about making our way to the various sites. So just keep following us. We took a very short break to be right back.
Once more, my name is Vision Pierre. Please don't forget if you have a program coming up, just contact us um, via email. And that is Labrian TV, Labrian TV at gmail.com. And we're going to be right there for you. So thank you very much for following. Just um, sit and still as we took a short break to be right back. We're here uh, escorting the body to the um, area site. We were just here for the funeral service, and now we're done with it, making our way to the burial site. So just keep following as we go along. So the car you are seeing right here is the is the car of the senior pastor of Harvest Baptist Church here along the Matadi Femme Road, where the funeral service was held. And as a matter of fact, he is one of the sons of the deceased. Um, and then next to his car is that of uh, the car carrying. I think the car carrying his mother's body. But then they just move together as we bring to you the unfolding. Keep following. And if you just join us, we want to say welcome. This is Liberian TV Network. Um, for those of you who have been following, it's just a reminder that you're watching Liberian TV Network, and uh, we are reporting from Sinka here on the burial, on the um, funeral ceremony, which has just ended. 
and we're now making our way to the burial site of um, Mother Mary Demi. Uh, a, Mother Mary Demi, who happens to be the mother of the senior pastor of uh, the uh, the Harvest Baptist Church. So just keep following as we, you know, move along. And if you've not subscribed, we want to say please do so. If you have, we want to say, you know, kudos to you and keep watching Liberian TV Network. Moreover, if you have any event upcoming, like I've said repeatedly, we're here to serve you. Just uh, email us at uh, LiberianTV at gmail.com. We are here for, you know, we're here to provide you the best services that you deserve. So just um, meet us and we're going to be right there for you. So we're now moving towards the um, the burial site. Just be patient enough. Sit back as you know, mourn with the Demi family.
That's it, family. That's it, everybody. We, we are here. This is Liberia TV Network. The name is Lidon Kuya. I'm here alongside uh, my partner, my you know, sister, and she's just everything. And that's Patricia Talu. You know, it's so, it's so you know, awesome being a part of this process. Why is true that we're all, you know, sympathizing in our hearts with the Buris family. We want to say keep watching Liberia TV Network and we're, you know, glad to bring to you uh, this occasion. So once more, if I, you have an event that you need a media institution to cover for you, uh, just contact us. And that is um, LiberianTV at gmail.com. Contact us and we're going to be right here for you. So, like I said previously, we are currently making our way to the great site of the of um, Mother Mary Mary Demi. So, according to according to um, Colette's sketch that was great, she actually lived a life of God. She lived a life of a, of a better Christian. And her family is proud of her. You know, so I want to say she made her own contribution. And for that, we, we are also glad we are part of this program. Just been following the Creative Network uh, as we bring you every bit of what is happening. Funeral and burial ceremony. Just keep following. So just to talk a little about her, I mean, from what was read by one of her granddaughters, this this is a person who was born in 1930, then you know died on the second of February uh, this month in this year, 2022. So just can't imagine. Do your math, do your calculation, and you you get to understand that she actually lived a whole long life. So her life was not a waste. Her life was actually a blessing uh, for herself, for her family, and for every other, every other person who, you know, whose life she imparted. They are kind of morning today. And we're all here with them to say we're sorry to the family. So just keep following. Uh, we're aware that you also somehow worthy. Even if you don't know the family, if you don't know her, you know, in person. But the fact that she's a human and she has passed, you know, we, we all know. We all know. So we want to say, keep following the Korean TV Network. And on behalf of the Korean TV Network, we want to say to the family, uh, we're deeply sorry for your loss. But you had in the Lord that He console you. 
So keep following us. Uh, so we bring you everything here. Uh, our, our, our meals, our milk boxes are open. That's our email. It's open so you can you can just furnish us with information. If you want us to cover your program, we are going to be to be a part of it. So if we're moving too fast, that is because we're riding, uh, we're riding with the police escort, and earnestly we we're out of time. So we we actually run out of time. So they they are like speeding so that we get there in time. So, And you understand that riding with a police escort, it gives us a very limited um, leverage to control their movement. All that we have to do now is to bear with them and follow their lead. Um, we're here. Yeah, we're right here doing what we can do to have you informed of what is happening in Liberia today uh, and what is also happening in the, in the families of like, in the families of the Demis. So keep following, keep watching. If I'm not too audible, you just uh, send a text and uh, I'm, I'm going to increase my tune, but I'm hopeful that you're getting me. So, this is it. This is Liberian TV Network. Uh, I'm Luton Kuya here alongside uh, Miss Patricia J.V. Talu. So, just keep following as we bring you what you deserve. event is uh, it could be a graduation ceremony it could be a wedding it could be even a funeral as this as this one is you know just just call on us call on us we're gonna be there you know send us an email and we are gonna respond to you in no time so we are here covering the entire funeral ceremony inclusive of the barrier of Mother Mary Demi, who happens to be the um, mother of Rebbe Dan Demi, the senior pastor and founder of the uh, Harvest Baptist Church, as well as the founder of the Liberty Radio here in Liberia along the Matadi Femme Road. So, just um, calling us like they did, and we are going to be available to cover your program live and direct from wherever you are. So we are here now making our way to the burial site or the grave site 
of the mother Mary Demi. So like I said previously, if the car is speeding, please bear with us. We currently don't have much control over the riders of the, uh, the drivers of this car because this is a police escort and you know normally how they do their riding. So just bear with us. Let's move on. And uh, just, just to add, just to add something to covering your program, I mean, Liberian TV Network, Network is uh, is here to give you the type of coverage you need or the type of coverage you want. So, even if you want, um, you want us to cover your program and in the end present to you a disc, you know, a video disc that you can keep as a souvenir. We're gonna do that for you. We are right here for that. And all we need from you is to call on us. So we're gonna carry a program live. If you want it that way, if you want us to do a, a recording and then you know, and then in the end give you your know, disc that you can use as a souvenir, we are here for that. You know, just call on us. We also do promotions and advertisement for businesses. Just call on us. So briefly uh I'm going to read out the numbers that you can call or I read out the email and then you can just forward to us an email that we can work with to get in. So for our numbers, so first of the email, like I've read it over and over, the email is LiberianTV at gmail.com. And uh, that's for the email and our number. The number you call to reach out to us is um, plus 231-776-594292. Now reread it. Plus 231-776-594292. So you read, I mean, you, you, call, that, you call that number. You're gonna reach out to us and then we will be right here to serve you. and that's it we're here we're, we're here making our way to the you know burial site so as it is currently we are in the 72nd side of pinsville we were not long uh, you know not long ago in singer that was in matadi the female matadi site uh, at the harvest baptist church where the funeral service was held and we are now here in the 72nd side of Beansville, making our way to the burial site. So just keep following us as we bring you, you know, every single step or stage of this entire process. We are here to serve the public and we must do our work with diligence. 
So keep following like Brand TV Network, um, which is now one of the biggest platforms you can ever, you know, subscribe to for business promotion, you know, for advertisement, for you know, just on any service of coverage. We're here for you, and you are there for us. So just keep following as we make our way to the funeral site. To, excuse me, to the burial site.
is um, Pastor Dem Demi Pastor Dem Demi is the senior pastor and founder of the um, of the um, Harvest Baptist Church as well founder of the Radio in Liberia. So that is one of the one of our famous songs. Uh, we are here. We just covered the funeral service at the church, at the Harvest um, Baptist Church, along the Metali River Road, and we are now making our way to the funeral site. Excuse me. So just be following. This is the network. Be following as we so make our way there. So why we going to say that we go to watch the music who are not currently watching or will watch later? So thank you to some of you as we are our channel. We also want to say thank you to the partners who are urging you to try to do so because with the subscription you're easily able to you know get connected to issues and happiness of you know days in life. So I want to say please subscribe here now and if you have also want to say thank you to you. Love it because we believe that we are going to be upon it. So just keep following us, make your comments, and we are here for you. So we are currently at Bonaville Junction. We are currently at Bonaville Junction, making our way to the barrier site. We're here at the junction. So for those of you who have been around here for a fair long time now, and the those of you who used to be around but now have run out for long once it is our business. So we are here on the funeral you know, process. But we also want to send to, to you this high of business. Let's go follow us. As we thank you every day of this program. So to the family, we, we will not cease saying we're sorry. We are in deep sympathy with you. We are seriously in deep sympathy with you. That's to the family and everyone associated with the family. We want to say, please take heart. 
the Lord is gonna the Lord is gonna console you so please take heart. I also want to remind you that you are watching Liberian TV Network with me in Little Ambiguia and uh, Miss Patricia J. Talley. So we are here covering the entire funeral service of uh, our mother, Mother Mary Timmy. So we are saying covering the entire funeral service is inclusive of the barrier. So we are now making our way to the barrier site. But as we are going, we also want to say, keep watching. Uh, as, we, as we are kind of covering this, this service, if you also have any program that you think you need a media institution to cover for you, just contact us. We are going to be available to bring to you, you know, live your program. So just, just contact us. We are here for you. This is Liberian TV Network once more, and you're watching us from uh, Liberia. We are in Liberia, bringing to you events of the day in Liberia. So wherever you are, we want to say welcome. Stay around. Don't go. Keep watching Liberian TV Network.
just for the chicken that we are going to go to the clinic so we are making our way already so just keep following our brain TV network we are here bringing to you live and direct the, the complete funeral service program of my mother, mother Mary Demi who happens to be uh, the mother of Reverend Dan Demi Although she has many other children, but that is one of her famous little sons. And he is the senior pastor and founder of the Harvest Baptist Church, as well the founder of the Liberty Radio here in Monrovia, the Republic of Liberia. So keep following as we move to the burial site. So like I said, when we say uh, complete funeral program, uh, that happens to be the inclusion of the um, burial ceremony of it. So we are just from the funeral service itself, and we're now making our way to the burial site to witness the burial ceremony of this entire program. So keep following the TV network as we bring to you every happening of today event. We're sorry if you're experiencing shaking. The road is the road is somehow not too okay. The the speed breakers here they are too high. So as the car you know climbs and comes down, it, you know we're gonna experience some shake of the camera. But we're still doing our best. Um, and hopefully we know that you're gonna get it clearly. So these are things we're talking about. So we are now in Looking Town. We are now in Looking Town. Keep following. You know, so we, we are going to be informing you of the places where we are or where we're going to be passing. Whenever we get anywhere, we let you know the location of the place that we are. So we're currently in Looking Town and we are moving. We're going to inform you when we get at the next point. So just keep following Liberian TV Network. This is what we do. This is our work. And this is why we are one of the best institutions now, one of the best media institutions now. As a matter of fact, we are already available whenever you call. Just pick up your phone, send us, send us an email, or give us a call. We are going to be there. So again, the, the email is... Liberian TV net, Liberian TV at gmail.com. I check that email. I beg you check that email.
Yeah, I can tell you too. I don't know what we're doing. So there, man, that's it. We're still, we're still here in Looking Town. We're still in Looking Town. Let's keep moving. So please, as, as you're receiving this life, we ask that you please share, share the with us, you know, and pass on the information of Liberian TV Network covering your program um, just as you want it. So trust me, like I said earlier, if you need a disc for souvenir, we are here and willing to provide such for you. So all you need to do is to send us an email on Liberian TV, net, Liberian TV at gmail.com and we're going to respond to you um, in no time. So just pick up your phone, send us an email, tell us what exactly you want us to do for you and we're going to do it. So we're here, we cover all programs. It could be a party, it could be um, it's not a party, maybe a pool party, it could be, it could be um, a, a, you know, birthday party, it could be probably a, a graduation ce a celebration, a wedding, anniversary, or whatever the, the program may be, we're here to cover it live for you. So just keep following. Just keep following. And like I said, if the car is over speeding, we are trying our best to 